Hello everybody and welcome to another Flaming Dice Reviews video. My name is Matt and today we're going to be taking a look at Moonshine Run. Now this is just a review copy because Moonshine Run is going to be coming out on Kickstarter very soon if it isn't already out. Now Moonshine Run is a quick push your luck game for two to four players. Let's take a look at how the game plays and then I'll tell you my final thoughts. Now at the heart of Moonshine Run are rounds. There's six rounds in the game and on each round players get a number of cards. These are road cards and they represent the journey of running moonshine. Some of the cards in the deck are good, some are bad. And here we have the round tracker which shows the number of free cards that a player gets during that round so that their journey is longer. Uh, each player also gets a player card which on top of having a beautiful uh, period vehicle on the back of each one also has game rules and uh, just sort of a layout of each turn on there to help you remember what you're doing. And the object of the game, as in so many games, is to get points. In this case it's money, and we have money in three different denominations, one, five, and ten. But the road cards are really the meat of the game, so let's take a look at those. So I think the easiest way to show how the road cards works is just to give you an example turn uh, for myself. And in this example, we're going to say that it's Thursday. And on Thursday, players get four cards for free. But on your turn, you can also purchase extra cards. So I went ahead and purchased a fifth card. Now on my turn, I take turns flipping over these cards, first looking at them, and then either revealing them as a road card or a hazard, or if it's an item card, I can put it in my hand and save it for later. So in this case, I flipped over the first card and it's two moonshine. So that'll be worth two dollars at the end of the turn. Then on my next turn I get a speakeasy. Now a speakeasy is basically a save point for your run. It lets you keep the moonshine that you've gained uh, up until this point in the turn. On the third one I get a quality card. So a quality card can either be good like this one or bad and they can increase or decrease the, the amount that, for which you can sell your moonshine that you gather. Now I can stop at any point but I'm going to keep pressing my luck. Oh that was a good move. I got eight. So eight plus two so far with the quality that'll get me a lot of money at the end of this at the end of this round so I can either stop here or keep pressing my luck. I'm going to keep pressing my luck and it paid off. I got a five. So now, it's the end of my turn, I'm going to get a lot of money that I can use uh, on my turn or on another person's turn if they play something bad on me. And I'll show you some of the hazards. So while you're running your moonshine, you could encounter several uh, hazardous things along the path. Uh, one of those things is a fallen tree. And whenever you get that, you have to discard the next road card that you would have flipped. So essentially ending your turn a little bit earlier. You have a mudslide. Uh, which makes you discard the next road card that you would have flipped. So both of those are pretty similar. They just kind of uh, slow you down, make it to where you can't gain as much uh, potentially good moonshine on your run. Uh, the police is a little more involved, and you can bribe them to make them go away. You can uh, tip them off, which I'm not going to get into all the rules. Uh, this is just a review, not a tutorial. Or you can let them take all your moonshine that you've gained to this point and end your turn. And Rival Moonshiners uh, is the same, or well similar I guess I should say. Uh, you can use an item card called a Tommy Gun to scare them off. Now you do lose a little moonshine in the crossfire if you do that. Or you end your turn and lose all your moonshine, similar to the police. So there's, it's not all uh, rainbows and sunshine when you're running moonshine apparently. Now there's some other things that you can encounter uh, during your journey. Uh, these are item cards, and this is just an example of some of them. You have Early Night, which you can use to play on another opponent's turn to make them end their run. You have Gasoline, which is just kind of a boost to you. You can draw another item card, and then a Tommy Gun, which can be used to combat the Rival Moonshiners card that we looked at a moment ago. And all of these combine to make for a very exciting uh, turn, especially whenever you have the ability to mess with other people on their turn, so you never quite feel safe, and that it really does capture that feeling of, oh, I, I, I really want to press my luck, but I don't know if I should. 
Uh, but basically that is the game in a nutshell. We're going to keep this review short and sweet. So I just wanted to take a moment to show off the absolutely beautiful artwork uh, that's in this game. I'm not sure if you could quite appreciate it in the previous shots. So I just wanted to give you a little taste of it. It really does a good job of capturing that Prohibition era. It's got a lot of mystery and darkness to it. Kind of what you would uh, imagine running moonshine in that time period would be like. But there you go. There's a quick view of the artwork. Welcome back, everybody. Let's talk about my final thoughts on Moonshine Run. Well, I really enjoyed this game. It's easy to learn. It's quick. There's not a lot of player downtime. And since there is interaction between the players, even while it's not your turn, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of player downtime. Uh, the game is quick. It's easy to set up. It has the feeling of other small box push your luck games like Zombie Dice, but it has a little bit more substance to it. Uh, I really enjoyed it and I highly recommend it. Again, big shout out to uh, StarCat Games for doing such a great job on the artwork. The artwork is truly amazing. Uh, you should definitely check it out. I will try and do my best to link to the Kickstarter down below when it launches. Again, if it hasn't already. And if not, just go to Kickstarter and type in Moonshine Run. You should be able to find it there. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.